morning in Madeira, as I said before, but didn't really get into very much, like major, major sickness here. Um, with Not <laughs> yeah, with us yet. foot and mouth disease has been spreading like wildfire throughout. Yeah, so like people sick. have like spots all over their hands, their tongue, the back of their throat, their face. face. <laughs> like everything and it's so bad and like they can't swallow and so they can't ride a lot of times so we're we're basically waiting to see who like emerges from their bedroom this morning to see what we can get and we need like Today's two or three really really important shots when without it we don't have a video a number of videos <laughs> for what we came for so it's like major tension as far as like can we get this done? The weather's looking good so far, which is awesome. That's like another huge thing because it changes so quickly here. But yeah, today's our last day here. Last Friday. day. We're flying out tomorrow morning at about 10. So kind of got to... Now's the time. Now's the time. <laughs> got to finish it up. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope it goes well. It will go well. It will go well. Yeah. And we're staying healthy. And we're staying healthy. <laughs> well, it's not really a great sign that it's less than an hour before we're supposed to catch our, our van and nobody's up yet. Let's hope some people emerge from their bedroom soon <laughs> and healthy-ish. We're gonna do a shot of, we're gonna get Lee to do his interview there. Yeah. And then we're gonna do a shot of the three racers flying by. Yeah, we can go higher up. And I'm gonna be riding the downhill bike today. Finally gonna get some proper laps in on it. it goes forever. So Ryan's just setting up a... Dangerous shot. A dangerous shot here. We're gonna have... The boys jumping over the camera. <laughs> yep. And they're feeling a little bit from last night's sushi buffet. So hopefully he'll uh, he'll be able to do that and the other guys won't hit the camera. But this is kind of like the biggest shot that we need. Okay, we're rolling. is still alive. <laughs> Did it. All done. Got all the shots. <laughs> it has happened. Now I get to go ride the bike. And I ride that DH bike. Also gonna be trying out the Hero 7 Black for the first time, see how that goes. Uh, I hope it's good for you guys' sake. I'm pretty damn nervous. On this huge bike that I've never ridden and we're going to attract the Pedro is recommending. He's a bit of a wild man. From what I hear, I haven't ridden him with him yet, but uh, might be a little, a little hairy for me. All right, so clearly my GoPro was not set up all that well. The angle was way too low Beautiful. and there's this mysterious clicking sound that I didn't catch until later. What a perfect day to ride some bikes. Just remember, kids, Whoa. this is what happens when you don't test your gear before recording important things with it. Oops. It won't happen again, sir or ma'am. I promise. All these rocks. So slick. Woo. Down. <laughs> it's pretty cool being a part of Checking out these new products, mid-design. Taking a downhill bike on a enduro trail. <laughs> okay, Pedro just said this gets steep. Can't imagine riding the rocks that I've just been riding down steep terrain. Can't even imagine. <laughs> Boys and girls, I'm nervous. Yeah. There we go. But 
maybe I'll get the hang of it. rough. <sighs> oh, that was rad. Oh that Leo's on the, uh, on the stamina. He's been testing the frame and especially suspension all week to decide what OEM spec he's gonna decide on and the tune of that OEM spec. So he's been doing a ton of time laps or as much as he can anyways. Ooh. Woo. Whoa. <laughs> Can't see a thing. We're gonna assume it goes this way. Oh no. Oh no. Not climbing. Although I will say this. Every time I pedal, this feels like a long travel trail bike. <laughs> it's just kind of the gearing that's holding me back, but the actual rear suspension. Rear suspension needs to be Nice. <laughs> Those make sense. I think it's pretty much the same as a machine set up for longer travel. Whoa. That was cool. Oh. This looks more familiar. Like I'm in BC. Flight's going to be brutal for the GoPro but it looks amazing to the eye. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> See a bunch of beehives over there. Clouds are rolling in. Oh, hey there. Yeah, it's so crazy here. It's like, anytime it's sunny, at some point, I think a little bell, a little baby was chasing me. But every day, oh, here it comes. Here comes the clouds. Every day that it's sunny, this will roll in at some point. And it comes in fast. Like you just watch it. It's probably moving like 30 kilometers an hour kind of thing. It looks so amazing for those two minutes that you can actually see what's going on as it rolls through. And sometimes, as you guys have seen, it can get super thick. Oh, I love this. Matty earlier was teaching me how to do this stuff a little better than I was. Good times. 
This is by far the longest stint I've been able to ride a bike on this trip. Plans changed very quickly when everybody started getting sick. And then, uh, yeah, full on filmer mode. Got a real Cindy Crawford look going on here. Well, did I just reviewed the footage from this thing and uh, kind of a pain in the butt, really. I mean, gimbals are a pain in the butt. But so far, I mean, the biggest thing about this is you gotta find your angle. With the gimbal, you just move it to where you want and then it just stays there no matter what you do. It's always gonna stay at the angle that you choose. Whereas this one, you're just like guessing all the time, which has been really hard. So I've had to figure that out. I might have it, um, hopefully. Remember, I'm on, I'm on that DH bike. And I just learned that we are gonna go for about a 40 minute pedal, which means walk for me, <laughs> um, up to try and get up to a ridge line because it's all cloud around here, but um, it's very easy to get above the clouds um, in Madeira, which is pretty sweet. So we're, so we're, uh, we're gonna try that. And so I'm just gonna do some walking and hopefully get this thing figured out so we can get you guys some rad footage. The other thing I noticed is that I just changed straps too. I had the stuntman strap and everybody loves the stuntman strap. I've had nothing but problems with it, ever. I've never had one good experience with that. And if you notice on that last bit of track, you heard like this clicking. It was almost like I was using what, like the old school like cover over the GoPro, which is like the worst noise in the world to me. There's nothing that bugs me more. And I found out that on Stuntman, it was this little clip right here. It was just like, just a little tiny movement. So I'm switching to my classic strap that I've used for years and years and years. It's got its faults too, but I've had more ruined footage from that Stuntman strap than anything else, which I'm pretty disappointed about. So anyways, back to the Amazon classic. Made it most of the climb on the old DH bike, and uh, so far it's been quite worth it. Check this out. Out that way. All the selfies are going on. And Pedro was just saying, you could see the trail. So that'll be a good time. <laughs> All right, guys and girls, this should be interesting. It's very slippery. I also lost one of my gloves on the way up. Bounced out of my helmet. Holy smokes. This is, this looks like nothing, but nothing. Whoa. Holy smokes. Wow, look at that. Wow. Incredible. That for me was just super treacherous. <laughs> I think those guys had fun with it though, but it brought me to here. Look at this. All right, let's go over the edge. This is where we're riding. And you go up. And over. That was insane. Where are we going? Okay. To the right. Whew. Greasy.
Whoa. Oh no. Oh, oh. Oh. I'm upside down. Good times. Let's move right along. All right, there. This is zero traction. Speaking of zero traction, my grips are now as slippery as the trail. <laughs> These rocks are just death. They're death rocks. I can't even walk down this. Death. Oh. Moving right along. I feel like a, it's the first time riding a mountain bike over this stuff, you know? Yeah. A little off. You know what? Ooh, a little splatter on there, hey? Let me get that for you. Like a golf ball stuck on there. Oh. Oh, sweet. That was intensity for me at its finest. I felt like crap down that, <laughs> down that old trail. I was just in my head like crap. Well, I don't know if I was in my head. That trail is like damn hard. Pretty muddy, for sure. I would love to ride that trail again and again and again. But this is kind of the way she goes. I only usually get one, one go at it, right? And then I have to hope for the best. No, this is an amazing place. And I was talking with Pedro and he was saying, yeah, it's like if you, if you learn to ride here, you will, you will be amazing anywhere because it, this is the slipperiest place on earth and it is so challenging which is a good thing like i was feeling pretty good the last time i rode at the end of the season and now i'm like i have things to learn and i i think that's a good thing <laughs> i didn't have any water or anything during that whole ride so i'm feeling a little a little bit depleted but anyways i'm gonna get in there relax a little bit go have a shower see you back at the house Oof, well, we're back and uh, yeah, we kind of had to hit the ground running. Like we we went in there and we planned to shoot 13 videos in seven days. And we managed to do that even with like, you know, the, the plague that, that overtook almost everybody there. Um, it turned out really, really good. It was like super stressful in some moments. It was really, really fun. The trails were crazy. Again, I said it in like almost every video, I think. I've never ridden anything like Madeira before. Even when the dirt looked dry, it was still slippery. It was crazy. So I feel like my skills were like way higher than they were going into Madeira for sure. It was quite the learning experience. So yeah, so now we're busy just putting out all that content. We've put out a whole bunch of videos onto the poll blog slash YouTube channel, which has been really cool. And now we've got just a ton more content coming up. I just did my first ride on my new pole machine. We've got more bikes coming in that we're gonna be doing crazy stuff with and uh, in about a week, I'm gonna start a whole review series. It's gonna be a long-term review on my personal Evo Link 140 that I've had for the last year. All the parts that were on that bike and even like my apparel, like I'm just gonna review everything because everyone's always asking about it. So I'm gonna do like a whole bike week just on all that review stuff. So anyways, this video is long enough as it is. I'll leave you guys here. Thank you so much for watching and being part of this whole journey. We really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. Cheers.